What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Sea Wolf on YouTube channel. You join me as Carly and I have just failed defeat to Doncaster Rovers. Doncaster 2, Carly and I had won in a very disappointing game of football for Carlisle, I would say. 7,413 fans in attendance with 1,222 of them being Blues fans. Excellent support again, as usual, from the Blues. Unfortunately, 11 men didn't show up and they were the men on the pitch. Very, very poor from Carlisle there. Looked very tired. Uh, luckily, we have a two-week break now until our next game against Northampton. Northampton, not uh, Newport, sorry. Uh, so many games in one, I'm losing track of, of what's what. But Carlisle United started with Thomas Hawley, Joel Senior, Jack Armour, Owen Moxon, Morgan Feeney, Paul Huntington, Jordan Gibson, Callum Guy, Tristian Dennis, John Mellish and Jack Stretton with Toby Sosilva and Jamie Devitt and Jaden Harris all coming off the bench for Carlisle. Um, a, a, a really poor game for Carlisle. Uh, really good to see Joel Senior back. Um, obviously, he's been out for... Uh, about nine months to a year, so nice to see um senior back, and hopefully the injuries to um Jack Stretton, and then the injury to um Jack Ellis and Taylor Charles are nothing too serious. But into the game, then Cali United started really really poor. Doncaster were all over them, put them on pressure, um, and it was a really poor start from uh. Carla United and that came to head within five minutes as Maxwell James Maxwell scored for them off a mistake from Joel Senior he looked like he went to put the ball out for a corner he sort of got his legs um, mixed up and it fell to their player it, it went in could Thomas Hawley have maybe done better I'm not too sure I didn't see the replay I only seen the actual goal but quite a tight angle I would say and you know it is what it is it's happened it's gone um, and we move on from it and then Doncaster hit the bar, hit the crossbar uh, not long after that. Carla looked really slow, really poor. Uh, 23rd minute, as I said, Toby Sosil came on for Jack Stretton. And then it looked like we went to a 4 3 3. I couldn't tell you what formation we were playing on your screen. It was a 5 3 um, 2, but I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, I have absolutely no idea, to be honest. It looked like we changed formation about three or four times. Um, but we went to a 4 3 3. And then at half time, Jordan Gibson went off for Jane Harris, which I think was an absolutely needed substitution because Jordan Gibson just didn't look too fussed at all, didn't look too good. Um, and there was a chant in the 55th minute for John Mellish. The ball came and he just, just couldn't stretch, just couldn't get a touch on it. And unfortunately, that chance went miss. And then just not long after that, Doncaster made it 2-0. Their player went round the goalkeeper, couldn't shoot himself, so got the got, got the cross in and Carl Hurst scored for Carl, uh, for Doncaster. Um, I must say, I do like Thomas Hawley, um, but his goal kicks and his distribution, just not fantastic, really don't look great. Um, half the time they go out of play if I'm going to be perfectly honest so you know, maybe need to work on that Carla had a good 10 minute spell uh, Callum Guy went off for Jamie Devitt in about the 80th minute and then in the 86th minute out of nowhere um, a flick tether by Thomas or Silver down for Tristian Dennis Tristian Dennis with his 14th goal of the season out of nothing good finish from Dennis fell 2-1 was the thing and it ended 2-1 Dennis had another good chance just a couple of moments later and then in the 92nd minute Christian Dennis was pulled down in the box referee did not see it and did not give it and the game did finish um, 2-1 luckily for Carlisle everyone in the playoffs apart from Bradford lost today Swindon lost Mansfield lost so that's a positive. I guess if we're going to lose, you have to wish for the rest of them to lose. Um, but just a really, really poor game for Carlisle. It looked really tired, uh, which obviously can happen over the Christmas period. Um, but now, as I say, we've got a good break before the Newport game. Newport's in about 16th position in the league, I think. And we've got 13 days. We've got basically two weeks before we play them. So hopefully we get a good rest. We can be, you know, good rest, good get some players back, Mario Patrick, hopefully come back, Ryan Edmondson might come back, I'm not sure what the crack with Edmondson is, but hopefully Mario Patrick will come back, Simo's was talking about, he wants two or three signings in by then as well, so fingers crossed, um, reading on Twitter, Facebook, just after the game, um, a lot of fans against Thomas Hawley, and Jordan Gibson, mainly a bit more towards Hawley in this game, a lot of people say we need a new goalkeeper, um, I don't know if I necessarily agree, if we need a new goalkeeper, no, I don't mind Thomas Hawley, I know a couple of, he's got a mistake in him, but, um, I just wanted to know what what do you guys think about that? Do, do we need a new goalkeeper? Should Thomas Holly continue as our number one? What do you guys think? But yeah, a disappointing way to start two thousand and twenty three for Carlo United, but we stay in fourth position, so that is a positive. 
Anyway, guys, I will see you in two weeks for the Newport game. And yeah, if you haven't checked out yesterday's video, go and check it out. It is the year in review for Carlisle United 2022. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you in the next one. Big swings, champ, you're the best. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad life.